Hello, I'm Artifax Mars, and the left loves to blame the Jim Crow laws and segregation on the right. When in fact, it can be easily demonstrated that they're the ones that support segregation, not us. New segregation signs pop up in leftist establishments. Now, this is just unreal. We already know what this is about. They are saying, basically, if you don't have the right viewpoints, you're not walking there. You know they say, well, all are welcome. Now, excuse me, how are you going to tell who has what views? Well, it might be possible looking at some conservatives, I don't know. So conservatives versus liberals, because they do carry themselves different ways. But, uh, you businesses, you start throwing out conservative customers, you're not, not going to have business. You can't afford to do this. I guess they're not uh, saying, well, they're going to stifle uh, speech. I don't know what they're going to do with this. I'm taking a look at the website. For that. Right here it is. MainStreetAlliance.org. It's the same thing. These are uh, leftist scumbags who are intention intended on stifling free speech and segregating people according to who they are and so forth. I mentioned segregation specifically because the next website. Ah, uh, I can believe this story. Let's put it this way. Number of businesses in Main Street Alliance and our fellow small business owners throughout the country are deeply disturbed by hateful rhetoric and violence aimed at our Muslim and Arab community members, their refugees fleeing violence, immigrants, women, people of color in our communities. This swell of hate and Permeating, fear permeating your national dialogue, both during and after the most recent election, is dangerous. So, the Trump haters, these are leftists, people, county liberals. They believe it is Muslim. Be met head on with clear statements of principle from local business owners because we are leaders in our communities. Well, you can go. Fuck yourself and swear by this one. I don't care. I'm just gonna say it. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Nah, you're not gonna be in business long if you're gonna be excluding people who vote for a certain president or whatever. But there they are, so you're getting people in the groups. It gets worse. Next site, please. Brown University will offer segregated student dinners for black and Muslim students. Now how, how long do uh, black folk in this country fight, and rightfully so, for uh, the right to be equal in public with white folks? They fought against segregation. Now we have a STUPID UNIVERSITY that will... that wants to segregate them again. They're insane! The university will host dinners as part of racial reconciliation program. To promote racial reconciliation after deadly clashes between white nationalists and counter-protesters in Charlottesville last month, Brown University plans to offer second-hand events to black students and female Muslim students. The university received a $30,000 grant from the American Association of American Colleges and Universities, which represents liberal arts schools, 
Ray the campus hunter whose mission is to break down racial hierarchies and create a positive narrative about race in the community, according to the Brown Daily Herald. So there you have it, this is the left. And they want to segregate blacks and other folks from whites. This is the left doing this. This isn't the right doing this. Uh, the right wants everybody to have equal opportunity. That's what we want. The left doesn't want that. They want to uh, herd black folks and others away from whites. I can tell you why this is. You're not going to like what you're hearing, but it's got to be said. The reason they're doing this is these are white elitists, and they don't want to be put in with people of color. They claim they're for people of color, but they basically want to be insulated from them. That's how white elitists work. Look at uh, Hologram Hillary. She's one of the she's a quintessential white elitist. She only surrounds herself with people that she approves of. She'd never sit down in a restaurant, you know, with some black guy or something. Because it's not part of her narrative. And she's no different from the rest of this Hollywood weird crowd and stuff that uh, just did the Emmys. This is nothing new. These are the same people who, after the slavery was ended, wanted to keep blacks penned up and away from them. It's the same attitude that, you know, the southern plantation owners, well actually the southern plantation owners had uh, blacks for servants in their houses. These people wouldn't even want that. These are true bigots and racists. But they would have you believe they're the enlightened ones. Sorry, it's not going to work. It went a little over. I had a lot to go over. I matter of fact, some ours. Don't be deceived by these people. I'm sorry. Please don't. Thanks for watching.